First of all, though, let's go through to Upton Park, where a fortnight ago we saw their thrilling match against Middlesbrough. This one coming up beats that one out of sight. West Ham's opponents are Wolves, led out, as you saw, by Mike Bailey. West Ham, a side that's developing into one of the most exciting in the land. And needless to say, another big crowd to watch their latest performance. First, let's catch up on the teams, though. West Ham still without John McDowell at number two, so Keith Coleman stays in that position. Wolves badly hit by injury. Alan Sunderland broke his leg during the week. The latest casualty, the number five, Frank Monroe, a groin injury, and Derek Jefferson comes in. Free kick by Kevin Long. Hibbert. Oh, good running here by Hibbert, and a good pass now for Richards. Can he make something of this? And stop kicked away there. First by Day, and then by Taylor, and West Ham were in trouble. That's the second fierce breakout we've seen from Wolves. Richards was on it like a flash. Day, very leg conscious, did well to keep it out, and Taylor turned it behind. Keith Robson to Frank Lampard. Here's Patton. And there's the cross. It's a good one. Robson was almost in on that. And it wasn't far from being an own goal by Jefferson. A very good cross by Patton. And almost a replica in some ways of the way that uh, Robson ghosted in for that goal against Middlesbrough a fortnight ago. But now, will Patton take it quickly before Wolves can organise themselves? Billy Jennings there. Oh, it's saved for the night by Parkin and Parks as goal went in. Coleman now, now look how quick he's got in behind these defenders once again. Was that handball? He was a penalty. Handball by Hibbert. And a penalty to West Ham. That ball came in. I don't think there was any doubt at all that Hibbert handled it. It was a question of whether it was uh, an intentional handball, and the referee decided that it was. Mike Bailey is telling Hibbert that the ball should never have got that way in any case. And Billy Bonds now, with the penalty for West Ham against Phil Parks, an enormous goalkeeper who to Bonds must seem to fill that goal now. And Bonds has done it, 1 0 to West Ham. That'll come for Lampard, and Robson is uh, imploring him for it as well here on the touchline. Keith Robson. Crossed in towards Bobby Gould. Now it'll come for Brooking. And a goal by Trevor Brooking. 2-0 to West Ham. Underneath the goalkeeper. Bobby Gould, a big part in it. Determination unsettling the Wolves' defence. It came to Brooking, not at the best of angles. But it went under Park's body, and that's 2-0 to West Ham. Richards. Now the game beginning to pick up with the uh, sort of skill and style that we saw in the first half. Brookie. Lampard. And that's a free kick to West Ham. Now, it was from a similar position just outside the area that Patton scored that superb free kick a fortnight ago. Looks as though Brooking might play a short one instead. Bonds and Lampard are men who are wide of him. He's looked around to see whether Lampard can do it, yes! just how they let it through a little flick up by Brooking and Lampard caught it on the half volley into the corner of the net 3-0 now hit it to Bailey played on again Kindon's outside here's the chance now for Wolves there's Richards and there's the goal a goal for Wolves played by Steve Kindon Side, said the linesman, and he found Richards with a lovely pass, and Richards' job really was a formality. Gone off the boil just for the moment, West Ham, but now can Brooking revive him? That looked like handball, a good decision by the referee. Brooking with a shot, a superb chance. Jennings, but it all 
started with an excellent refereeing decision by Harold Davey. Playing the advantage, Booking took the advantage of a tremendous shot which Parks could only push out, and Jennings was there to finish it off. Patton now for Booking. Goal in a lot of space over on this right touchline. Bonds coming in well to join up with the attack. Still with Billy Bonds, and now with Trevor Brooking. He tried to dash it through, Bobby Gould! Yes! Number five, Bobby Gould against his own club. And a fellow who worked so hard that you really can't deny him the goal he scored. There was a lucky deflection. Gould got on the end of it. So after that deflection, Gould got on the end of it. That makes it five for West Ham. You know what he wants? He wants some more bubble songs. So it's Powell to Richards. Break by Barry Powell now through the middle with Hibbert on the far side. Here's the cross again, and Kinden has made it to two for Wolves. The long cross that time from Kenny Hibbert. And Kendon was in there to tug it past Mervyn Day. West Ham 5, Wolves 2. <laughs>